died. When the doctor died. Good morning, Potter peeps! Here I am, once again, filming on a Tuesday night. Can you tell I had acting class today? I got my math quiz back, it was really short. I got a 10 out of 10, can you see the stupid question? In today's video, I thought I'd talk about two things. One, I'm going to show you some of the footage from the dance rehearsal I was at on Monday that I told you that I would film some of and then put on there and then I talked to blah 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 blah. Two, I want to explain to you a little bit about debate and what I do in debate and what I coach in debate because I'm always talking about it and I realize that none of you really understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about it. Not that that's out of the ordinary or anything like that. Oh yeah! Three, I guess I need to talk about most unexpected thing of 2009. One, let's see some dancing footage! <laughs> It was at this point that I decided that we were going to turn into interpretive dance and be trees. And then we were trees walking through the forest. <laughs> Let's move on to number two. Let me tell you a little bit about debate. I started debate when I was a freshman in high school and I did debate throughout my freshman year, half my sophomore year. Then I took about a year's break. I came back halfway through my junior year and then went through my senior year. In my senior year, I was the captain of my event. And now, since I've graduated, I have been coaching that event at my alma mater. My event is called Interp Debate. And it has nothing to do with debate. As you know, by now, already, I am a theater person, I do acting, and I do all that crazy stuff. So of course, this debate event has to do more with acting than it does with debate. The easiest way for you to understand what my event is, is for me to explain what it is and then show you what it is. Interp Debate is an acting-oriented event separated into three different categories. One, humorous interp two, dramatic interp, and three, duo. Both humorous and dramatic interp are performed by only one competitor, while duo interp is performed by two. The rules are as follows. There is a five to 10 minute time limit. You may not touch the floor. You may not use props. You may not use costumes, and you must perform within a three foot radius. Interp debate starts with one of these two things, a published printed play or a published printed book. We like to have them in first person. In order to make an interp out of one of these two things, you have to take the entire plot line of either your book or your play and condense it down to a 10 minute long piece. In order to make an interp out of one of these two pieces of source material, you take one of them, say you take the play, Arthur Miller's The Crucible really wouldn't work, but it was the play that was nearest to me. You take the most important events from this play that make up the major plot line and put them together. You can take lines, paragraphs, pages, words, and you cut them out of the book. When you're done, your script will look something like this, two to three pages long. This is my humorous interp from my junior year of high school. I cut this piece from a book called Junie B. Jones is a Party Animal. Now comes the performance. You take your piece, and for each character in the piece, you develop a stance, a physicality, and a vocal pattern. In my H.I. Junie B. Jones is a Party Animal, my characters included Junie B. Jones, Grace, Lucille, Lucille's Nana, Junie B's mom, Junie, and Junie B's dad. 
Now, I think the rest of the terminology will be easier to understand if I show you and then explain. Hello, my name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. So that's what Junie B. looked like. And then Lucille looked like this. Don't call her Nana. She's not your Nana. She's my Nana. And then Grace looked like this. Hello, Nana. And then Nana looked like this. Oh, aren't you just darling? The quick transition between characters in Interp is called popping. So it's someone like this. Hello, my name is Junie B. Jones. And I'm Lucille. And I'm Grace. In that way, you can play all the characters yourself in your 10 minute piece. So that's what Interp is. It is a book or a play cut down into a 10 minute storyline performed by one performer who plays all of the characters. These are some of my trophies. There's my national qualifier plaque. Um, that big cup one is a first place trophy. That one with the angel looking thing on top is a first place trophy. Moving on extremely quickly to three. One of the most unexpected things that happened to me in 2009. Um, well, 2009 was pretty unexpected in itself. Not that I didn't know 2009 was gonna happen. I discovered Nerdfighteria. I pretty much discovered YouTube in itself. I discovered Harry Potter conventions, I discovered all these Potter nerds, I discovered all kinds of things, but I'm pretty sure that the best one out of all of them is Potter in your pants. Rock on, girls.